What's up guys? So today I'm gonna to talk about what kind of internal cueing you can have or create throughout your everyday, throughout your gym session, throughout your workout sessions to make sure that you are moving from a place of power and strength. Because every action you take, for every action you take, every movement you perform will come from a certain place. So if you're coming from a weak place, from an unstable place, your movement is gonna be what? It's gonna be unstable. Right? And that applies to anything in life. Anything in life. You come from that weak place of being, you're going to manifest something that's going to be weak. So, I'm talking about namely movements like squats and deadlifts and overhead presses. And you know what? Every single movement this applies to. And so here are some of the pitfalls I see. When people do movements, they're oftentimes defaulting into really bad positions. Positions that put them at risk for injury, especially their lower back, their hips, their shoulders, and their abdominals. So, this is what I see. A lot of times I see this. I see people's hips overextended, kind of in this anterior pelvic tilt, so their back is hyperextended, and they're doing movements where they're pushing, or they're doing overhead press, whatever it is, especially overhead press. So they're standing up like this, and they're overextending with their back, and they're all sorts of jacked up in that position. Or people are rounded and they're doing their presses, they're rounded and they're doing their squat, they're rounded and they're doing their rows. So they're putting themselves in these really awkward positions, but they're not even aware of it. They're just thinking, okay, well, I'm just moving weight around, and so I must be doing something useful. But in reality, you're putting so much stress upon the joints upon your ligamentous system, upon your discs. You're not resting any of that load upon your musculature. Your muscles are not sharing that load amongst your body. Now it's all on your discs, all on your bones. You don't want that. So what can you do? What is one simple thing to remember that you can practice every single day? Whether it's about your everyday life or it's about you being in the gym and doing the thing, doing the damn thing. What can you do? And that's posturing yourself in a good position, okay? So I want you to practice this from now on out. Whenever you're talking to people, whenever you're walking around, practice this one concept. All right, here we go, I'm gonna show it to you. So, the first thing to remember is how are you positioning your body in space, right? So the few things I want to correct. The first thing I'm going to correct is your, your hips. People are generally either anteriorly tilted or this posterior tilt with their butt stuck under. You want to find neutral. You want to find the middle ground between those two extremes. So here's Donald Duck. Here's Pink Panther. Find the middle. Take your hips. Boom. Get them squeezed. Get your butt cheeks nice and tight and find that middle. So your butt will now be in line with your hip bone, okay? So once you find that, hold that position. And whatever that sensation you've created, stick with that sensation as much as you can, okay? So you're there, you found your, your uh, optimal hip position. Next thing I want you to do is brace your abdominals like you're about to get punched in the stomach. So if someone was to whack you in the stomach, I want you to just brace your stomach nice and tight at least 30 to 40% tension on. Boom, hips underneath, abs on, and stay with that sensation as well. Now, if you're lifting heavy weights, of course you want to get that tension even more, like 80 to 90% tension, even close to 100% tension. You want to stay as tight as possible. But for the purpose of an everyday lifestyle habit, I want you to go about 20 to 30% tension in your abs. Okay, so you got your hips down, we got our hips tucked under, we got our abs on. Perfect. Stay with that sensation as much as you can. Practice it right now. Stand up out of your chair and practice that right now. Good. You got it? Awesome. Move it on. Once you get that on, the next thing I'm going to have you do is work on your shoulder blade position. Okay, so got the hips on, you're kind of neutral, we got the abs on. Now pull your shoulders back. Screw them into place. Screw them back into that shoulder joint. Okay? So screw the shoulders back and keep the shoulders down and pull the blades back together. 
Okay, so now you got your hips under, your abs are on, shoulders are back. And if you can do all those three things as much as possible when you're walking about your everyday life, when you're standing in front of somebody, when you're sitting down in a chair even, you can still do that. Keep your hips in line. Keep your butt underneath your hip bone. Keep your abs on. Keep your shoulders back. If you can do that when you're sitting, when you're standing, and before any exercise you do, whether it's a press, whether it's a deadlift, whether it's a, whether it's a, a push-up, whatever it may be, it doesn't really matter what plane you're in, but for most movements, that is key. Present that posture as much as you can and see your entire life change, see the workouts in your gym change, see your strength go up, see your injuries diminish, see your pain go away. That's it guys, practice that, tell me how it goes, peace.